recently made a heart-driven decision to quit my 12-year successful massage therapy practice to go live in the backwoods of Mount Rainier, Washington, to attempt to build my first mud hut for my friend Megan's five goats. This comes on the tail of a one-week workshop I just attended this past September at the Cal Earth Institute, uh, founded by Nader Khalili, uh, Iranian architect and humanitarian, by utilizing earth-filled uh, sandbags coiled up into a dome, covered over with earth plaster, and uh, the date of my departure for this endeavor is February 10th, which was actually premonitioned in a dream back in May. I woke up and I knew I was going somewhere, and my heart knew it, but in order to prevent my mind from losing its little mind with all its questions as the mind is wont to do, I just decided right then and there to just keep communication and trust flowing between the two parties, and I have been thrilled with the almost stress-free results. In fact, it's inspired this story I'm about to share with you about our two characters, heart and mind, learning to get along. And with that, our story begins. I lost my mind. It happened about a quarter past three. I was dreaming back in May. A message came to me. So in the dream, I'm walking down a long dirt road, and I'm trying to find an address, but it's kind of in code. Finally, I come to an old surf shop under a tree. Sign says 210 Dive. What's that mean to me? When I woke up in the morning, I remember the scene. My mind repeats one more time, 210 Dive? What's it mean? Well, lo and behold, another voice pipes in. It's my heart, nice and calm, like that dog, uh, Rin Tin Tin. Heart says, yo, man, chill. It's a date. You know when. It means something's going down on February 10. Mine says, great, something. But we don't know what. <laughs> oh, that's just perfect. And I know you've been talking to gut. Heart, heart just smiles and nods. She can see right through. She looks lovingly up at mine. Mine knew it was true. So I'm feeling this play out in that way that we do, and I'm thinking, damn, what would happen if I kept them talking, these two? So me, as the witness, I kind of have a hunch. Heart's vibe in my upcoming course building mud huts and such. Well, sure enough, September rolls around, and after visiting Cal Earth, opportunities abound. Heart, taking the lead, quits day job to go build mud huts for free, while Mind is left standing there saying, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Hart says, listen, earth buildings opened up a whole new can of worms, as the saying goes. We're learning things like rough plastering, weatherproofing, and the angle of repose. FYI, for those who don't already know, repose means lying at complete rest with gravity, like in a dome home, yo. Now, all through the ages, it's been head versus heart. Words like battle and conflict and lives torn apart. Hell, I saw this guy on the internet here. He had this tattooed on his back like he's doomed year after year. Now granted, we've all seen it with just the heart in control. It's chaos, totally random, and I'm not being droll. But the flip side, just the mind, Pardon me for joking, but you may as well post a sign, Nazis in charge, hardest for Putin. It's okay, I'm part Austrian, I can say that. Right? Awkward. I wonder how all this connects with the sun's pending magnetic flip. Scientists are concerned, and I quote, Obviously, we would feel happier if we saw the sun doing business as usual rather than heading off into some territory where we basically are not sure we understand what's going to happen. What a trip. I mean, I'm sure the sun's heart is saying, it's only a bloody handstand, while its mind is saying, yeah, handstand to you, but to earthlings, UFOs may as well land. I mean, it's not like there's much we can do if earth becomes a glacier, but as the great Nader Khalili said, we can still work in harmony with nature. Imagine, if you will, a peaceful world where heart and mind are pals. Creativity could flourish like those specialty nips at Sal's. See, the heart has a gift of seeing the big picture for the soul, while the mind is a pro with fine details in the daily toll. So whether it's land rights for pygmies or mud huts for goats, let the heart hold the vision and the mind take the notes. Okay, now back to our story where heart and mind are feeling stuck. Remember the heart quit the job and the mind's like, what the fuck? Heart says... Come on, man, this is it. Remember February 10? Mind says, oh, I remember. I just hoped I'd never hear of it again. Heart says, uh, hold up, mind. Need I remind you? These mud huts are so freaking awesome, they blind you. Seriously, remember that first step inside? It rendered you speechless, and your eyes were so wide. 
Mine says, yeah, you're right, that's totally true. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. I know, I know, you do your thing. I'll handle the details and all the ringy-ding-dings. Heart says, aw, mind, you're the best, and I love you so much. Isn't life great when we agree to go Dutch? Mine's all, yeah, 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 I love you too. Just try to stay focused on whatever it is you do. So with minimal fanfare, a new friendship was born, sliding nicely into place like using a well-greased shoehorn. With glowing heart and peaceful mind, I embrace this next chapter, nary a glance behind. Why we insist on resisting is totally beyond me. But I've got a good feeling about this friendship, oui, oui. Mon Dieu, the taller, would you look at the time? Excuse me, crazy Frenchman? You just barged in. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Random. My apologies. I'm now clearly killing time because I've got two slides left and I don't know how to mime. (laughs) Think, Tennis, think. How to wrap this up. That's it. I've got it. Baby seal pups. Just kidding. But seriously, the head and the heart. I want everyone to think about doing their part. If you truly believe in world harmony and peace, no ifs, ands, or buts. It's an inside job. And maybe try building a mud hut. Thank you for listening.